Hey everybody, there's a bar again. Uh, this batch is Amber. Uh, she's like a sister to me, and she is from my group. Um, yeah, I usually don't take battles in, and she just came in and wanted to battle me. So I'm like, sure, let's take a battle. I haven't battled for a while anyway. So I don't know, I'm gonna leave with the Amber Bomb. She loses the Toe Kiss. I do go for a fake out right away. I did quite a amount of damage. So I believe I'm gonna, also, I'm gonna kill this thing because with double hit. But. She is Scarf and she also feared me, which I should have guessed it that because this is a Lee Toad Kiss. I've never seen one, but I should have guessed that it's a Scarf Toad Kiss. Um, anyway, look at my, my Jirachi because I am Scarf. I will speed with Iron Head. She switches to Starmie and I was afraid of the choice of Scarf Starmie is going to speed me and is going to kill my Jirachi. So I'm going to switch into my Swamper to Wallet, but she predicts that pretty well and goes straight for the trick. Um, tricks me a, a choice Scarf, which sucks for my Swamper. And now she's searching to do like almost one or one fourth, but it didn't matter. I'm just going straight for the South Rocks because rocks are important. And yeah, I'm going to switch out and go straight to my Sap Ghost, which I did not even predict that this this story might have Rapid Spin or something. But anyways, so she serves me and brings me pretty like on one fourth. So I know I'm going to live in Ice Beam and I'm going straight for the Thunderbolt, but she here, she misclicks and... Go a thunderbolt me, so even that I would have gone pretty low HP if she ice beamed me. Um, lower, maybe lower than that, maybe around like maybe around 90 HP after leftovers, I guess. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna like, kill the star me, and she goes to the dragon eye. Uh, I'm predicting uh, extreme speed from her because it's kind of odd that's not why I bring a dragon eye around this time. So she goes to extreme speed. Um, yeah, I'm gonna hit my heat train with resistant, and I, I know I'm faster than this, so I'm gonna straight for a dragon pulse. She brings her tokens in just to uh, wall with my e trend and I was like, crap, it's a token kiss. But then again, it's a scarf, scarf token kiss, so I thought it would be like a roost. So I'm like, oh wait, it's scarf, so it's not going to roost. So it doesn't kill it, which sucks, which is not, actually not sucks for me, it actually sucks for her, to be honest. Because what happened here is I'm going to switch to the Zapdos, and I'm going to get roost, and roost all my HP back. And the reason why it sucks for her that... If because of my Sapphire's HP, I will you see what happened next. But yeah, this is one of the bad situations for her that why her token should should have died. But yeah, she knows she's gonna die, and she's gonna keep Orsafine to as much damage before she leaves the before the token dies because she can't really switch back in because of the soft rocks. So <clears throat> after uh, now I got four HP now, I'm going straight for the. Hidden Power Ice, which I was predicting maybe she wants to bring the Dragon Knight back, I don't know, but dumb part of my part is that I showed her that I do carry the Hidden Power part Ice, well, she could kind of predict this again, what Hidden Power is it. So she's going to Dragon Knight, and she can go straight for the Dragon Dance, and I'm going to Hidden Power Ice it, because I know I can live with an Outrage without a Dragon Dance, or even one Dragon Dance, either without one of the speed. But, she carries the Yachi Berry, which I'm oh like, Oh dear, so this is my first Thunderbolt. Now it's going to be 2 KO, and she goes for the Outrage just to uh, do as much damage as possible before her Dragonite dies. Uh, I know I'm going to live one for sure, and yeah, I'm going to Thunderbolt. See, this is the part where I meant is if Tokus died, this situation would not happen because my Sapdos would have died to that Dragonite. Um, she goes to her Metagross, and I see this thing, I'm like, I'm a crap. This, I, I, I need to switch. Because I was expecting either Agility or Ice Punch. Either or, I'm going to go Swampert to roar this uh, Metagross away or take the Ice Punch pretty nicely. But, he goes, she goes for an Explosion. What makes me wonder is why is she exploding on a Zapdos? So, I mean, I'm predicting that one of her Pokemon on our team can't counter Zapdos. So, I'm just going to... Now we're both dead. I'm going to switch into Madrashi because it is Scarf. And she goes for Hippodon. So, I'm going to guess her last Pokemon is something that Zapdos can counter. Um, <clears throat> and my team can't really handle this Hippodon, so I'm just going to Iron Head this thing and try to get as much damage as possible, get it low as possible, and hope she can Earthquake my Drachi and kill the Drachi so I can go for a Revenge Kill afterwards. But the situation with this part was I flinch her seven times, which does kill her Hippodon, which I thought was eight, but she said seven, which. I feel pretty bad. I'm so sorry, Amber. Like, I really do. I, I, I'm so sorry. I love you. I really do. It was, it was really my bad for flinching like this. Yeah, um, yeah, I flinched her 
pretty hard here and it does bring her to death here and does kill her but on um yeah sorry guys my voice is like I'm losing my voice <clears throat> so anyways uh, I finished this Hippodon off and she goes to her last Pokemon here, which is her Suicune, which I was correct on the Zapdos. Uh, I'm going to switch out and predict a Surf or something. And it wouldn't matter what she's going to do next because I'm going to do is going to switch the Heatran and fire the Heatran. And I'm going straight for the Earth's power here because I'm going to Scarf and I'm going to speed it. And this Heatran is going to be useless for me. So I'm going to Earth power this thing and... I see this damage going down pretty high, and I realized that I was crit. Oh my god, this crit! Ridiculous! Um, yeah, it's my fault again. Like, sorry for the hacks here. And now the sweep is pretty low. I'm going to do my Jirachi, and pretty sure she gets intimidated by that because earlier she did get flinched to death. So I'm pretty sure she's going straight for the rest. And I do carry trick on this Jirachi, so I'm going to trick her at Troy Scarf and let her get stuck in the rest. And yeah, this is the end of the game because you can't really do much. Um, sorry Amber for the hacks and the uh, annoying flinches. I'm really sorry. I really love you. I'm sorry about that. Anyways, guys. Um, yeah, she's a great battler. You can always join my group and check it out. Um, anyway, last night post we talked about a three trio and who do you guys like? Talk about these three trio. Who do you guys would like? Uh, just drop the comment from below and rate, comment, subscribe, guys. Bye.